Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I've got a redstone device to show you. Uh, here's what it looks like from above ground. So all the redstone you can see over there isn't showing here, but when I step on the pressure plates you can kind of see what it's doing. It's basically creating a pathway for me underground, and then when I step on these pressure plates it's closing it right back up so that above ground it looks like it did before I did anything. And of course, you know, this, this could be an entrance to your base. Uh, if I want to get out, I just walk over the pressure plates again, wait for it to finish, otherwise I'll get crushed, and then you can see I walked right back up and just walk over these pressure plates one more time, and the thing will close right back up, and it looks very tidy. Of course, the redstone does not look very tidy, it's actually pretty complicated. Uh, let's start over here. So you can see this is the same device. If I step on the pressure plates, it'll open right up, and head underground, there's more pressure plates down here. So I'll give a brief overview of what's going on with this, but if you'd like to check it out in more detail, I do have a download in the video description so you can actually copy it block for block if you'd like. So when you step on either set of pressure plates, there's a set here and a set underground, uh, it triggers a line of redstone that comes over and hits this block. And same for the, uh, the, the pressure plates down here, triggers a line, hits the same block. This block controls a T flip flop. This means that the redstone block here gets kind of flipped back and forth uh, every time it gets a signal. So I can simulate that by breaking and replacing the redstone here. And you can see the redstone block goes from one side to the other side every time I do that. It goes back to the left, goes back to the right, and each time I do that you can see that there's pistons firing off in the background. And so uh, this T flip-flop comes over here this is the line comes off the T flip flop, and it triggers basically a bunch of repeaters, a bunch of pistons, some um, monostable circuits like this. Uh, let's take a look. I have an even more stripped down version over here, so you can see these are the three sets of stairs and a couple other blocks that get moved, and you can see all the pistons in action when I press the button. So it's a little bit more complicated. Most of the complication in this is due to the difficult nature of retracting everything. Retracting all the pistons and the stairs, you can see it goes underground quite a fair bit. Um, when I push the button again to close it, it doesn't take very long, it's just extending all the pistons basically. In the right order though. Uh, let's take a look one more time. There you go. You can see this set of stairs in particular is, uh, is a source of difficulty because you have to retract this piston, this piston, and this stair, and uh, you can't do that all at once. So it kind of retracts both and then another piston comes down. And a lot of the difficulty is also caused by the fact that these things all have to be so close together as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to do a block by block building <laughs> instruction or anything. Uh, like I said, if you'd like to, to copy a block for block version of this, uh, you can check out the link in the video description and has exactly this this stuff so you can copy it. That's about it. Thanks for watching.